So in Halo 2, there's an area that very few people have ever been to. It's the area underneath Halo 2's famous last boss battle with Tartarus. And the reason is pretty simple. It's not possible to access. So can we get to Halo 2's least explored area? Let's give it a shot! So the Great Journey is the final mission of Halo 2, and your entire goal for this mission is to proceed until the end to fight Tartarus in a boss battle. Now this section of the mission has a giant floating platform that rotates, but just below this platform is a giant pit light area, and I've been calling it the Tartarus Pit. There is a death barrier just feet below this platform that you see that kills you immediately, and there's no way to get around this. And for three years, I have been trying to figure out a way to do this to no avail. But I had an idea. If I could somehow find a way to clip through the final door that the Scarab is scripted to destroy, I could somehow get into this room early, and the death barrier that previously existed would not yet load in. But there's also another pretty large problem. This platform is suspended about 200 feet in the air, and the way that it's intended to be played is that you fly a banshee to this platform. So, we needed to find a way around this. In order to clip through the door, I would need ground vehicles to stack on top of a ghost to surround that area with enough stuff so that the closest open space was on the other side of the door. But didn't you just say that the platform's 200 feet in the air? How are you gonna get a bunch of ground vehicles there? I will show you in time. But first, I need to explain to you why I'm dropping vehicles off this ledge. So the Great Journey is essentially segmented into two separate missions. One mission deloads when the second part of the mission loads in. So that means that we are unable to actually get to this doorway because there's a kill barrier off this ledge. That is up until the second part of the mission. This area preserves vehicles, so if you drop them off the ledge, they'll actually be there on the second part of the mission. This will save us from having to hijack and transport three separate vehicles and save a bunch of time. There we go. Okay, so now I have a Banshee. And luckily for me, there's actually a certain vehicle that you have to destroy in order for the mission to proceed. And it is this Wraith up behind this rock right here. So the Scarab on the Great Journey is scripted to proceed through the mission destroying anything in its path. But the only thing stopping the Scarab from moving forward and allowing us to clip through the door is this Wraith. But because of this, we have no checkpoints. Here's all my vehicles. I'm gonna take my Wraith up first. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna try to go around the back side of that building over here, and I'm gonna try to get up to that door. So there technically is a path to getting to this platform from the back side of this building. It's actually a pretty easy path to take until the end. You're gonna go on this direct path right here in the Halo 2 graphics. It's so drab. Going up this ramp, it's actually taking no time at all. Stay tuned, guys. What The next part is going to be crazy. Do not skip. Watch till the end. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell notification. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh. I'm going all the way around this right here. Some people are like, why do you use the H2A graphics? Because this is what the old graphics look like. No one would watch this. It's Every single thing on this mission is gray. What I'm going to do here is uh, I actually need to get this wraith all the way up that right there. So what I'm going to try to do is I did a wheelie with my wraith holding the jump button. So now I'm up here. That actually, I was surprised that worked. So there's only one path that you can take with vehicles to the lower platform without using a banshee. And this path is only a couple of feet wide, but it runs up a 45 degree angle around a ledge that you then have to drop to a lower ledge that then leads to the lower platform. And the Wraith is a tank. So how are we gonna do this? Well, we'd have to chop off its wings. Okay, so at this point, I actually need to stick this Wraith because I need these wings to be off. And I destroyed it. Very nice. So because I had no checkpoints, I had to get this Wraith back here again. But this time, I made sure that the wings were destroyed before I started my journey. Okay, so this time, I'm going to make sure that this uh, the wings are destroyed beforehand. Oh, gosh. And 10 minutes later, I was back to where I was before. Okay, so I'm doing a rail grind. The trick to pulling this off is teetering the Wraith on the edge and balancing it while boosting. A rail grind is the best way to describe it. 
Oh, okay. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Okay, so I'm like teetering it back each time because it's like falling. Oh, no! So luckily I didn't fall completely off this platform, but every time I fall off this ledge, no. it, it costs me a couple of minutes each time to get back on this rail. Okay, I got it this time. You gotta kind of rail grind a little bit. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just set it up again. Okay, I'm back. Ten minutes later. Okay. I'm so scared. Okay, I'm, I'm going very carefully around this edge. Please don't fall again. Please don't fall again. Please, please, please. Okay, I'm going to boost. Now I just need to take this down to the lower deck. And then I can take all the easy vehicles. Please don't flip off. Oh, I was so scared. Now I just need to go and get my Banshee and my Ghost and my Spectre. So now that we got the biggest vehicle out of the way, I needed to do the same thing with a Ghost and a Spectre jumping down from the platform. Okay, this is so much faster. I like this. This one's fun. This one's a lot of fun. Boom. Easy. That one was easy. <laughs> Why did I say that? I was so close. Oh, uh, too close for comfort. I, I, I don't like it. Bingo, bango, bongo. So now with the Spectre and Wraith in place, we just needed to get our final ghost to the platform. Okay. Perfect. Uh-oh. Woo! Style points. Danger points. I don't... Oh, uh, stop. Uh, uh, I'm rail grinding. I don't want to rail grind. Oh. Uh. <sighs> That was almost so bad. Oh, sick trick points, but oh my gosh. Like Tony Hawk Pro Skater, that would have went crazy, but I'm not looking for that right now. So now that we had every vehicle that we needed, we needed to organize them in a mannerly fashion so that there was enough stuff surrounding the ghosts so they could successfully clip through the door because the closest open space would be on the other side of that door. Okay, now we can set up our clip. Okay, so I'm just gonna go right in the crack of this door. Put the ghost right there use that as my clipping tool okay now i need to carefully boost above this ghost without destroying it i destroyed it i have to do all this over again well that's 45 45 minutes of my life awesome should have listened to my own advice. So I needed this ghost in order to clip through this door and all of the ghosts at the beginning of the mission were destroyed. So that meant I had to set up every single vehicle again because I didn't have a checkpoint. Okay, 45 minutes later, I'm back. Let's not ruin it again. don't know how scary that moment was. So now that I had my wraith successfully set up on top of the ghost, I needed to fill the remaining edges around the ghost with a specter and a banshee. I needed to make sure there were no gaps or cracks big enough to phase through. After five minutes of finagling with the specter and the banshee, I couldn't get this clip to work. I think I need to readjust this again. Moment of truth. Okay, that's a that's a good look right there. That's a good lineup. I don't think I'll have to waste another 45 f***ing minutes. Ooh, that's nice. Come on. Damn it. There's no way. At this point, I was beginning to question whether or not I could even clip through this door. I, I knew that I probably could, but it just wasn't working no matter how tightly I had everything packed around the ghost. But after 15 minutes, this happened. Oh, that one worked? Okay. I was finally through this door after two hours. Now I just needed to walk to the area and get down there. Okay, I'm in. 
Amén. Okay, seems to be working. Nice. Love to see it. Uh, slight problem. This door is not open. Huh. Well, that was a giant waste of time. Can't do this because this door doesn't open. Hmm. 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 <sighs> okay, well, I guess this isn't possible. So I tried this in solo. I tried phasing vehicles through the door and nothing I did would work. That's painful. Oh, that sucks. So I gave up on this for two years, but then I had an idea. So there's a glitch in Halo 2 called the Dead or Alive, which allows you to have two players in the same character model. If used correctly, you can have a dead player be technically alive anywhere on the map. But first, I needed to set up my Dead or Alive glitch. So the way that it works is actually pretty simple. At the beginning of the mission, The Great Journey, what you'll need to do is take a wraith to this specific doorway and back it in. Then you need to have a player tuck themselves under the Wraith's wing while another player gets a specter and reverses it onto the backside of the Wraith, covering the person completely. The objective here is to have such little space in a confined area that the second person can't spawn back in. If this works successfully, all you have to do is restart the mission and both players have to die. Then both players will spawn into the same body. But when you do this, only one person can actually move and shoot. The other person basically can only look around. So it makes the controls a little bit tricky. Yep, we're in the same body now. So now that I was successfully player merged, I had to find a way to get to the doorway without a vehicle. The most important part of this was getting to that doorway without dying. I needed to use the dead player to get through the doorways later. So using the feather and Sputnik skull, I found a spot that I might be able to get out of the map using just a frag grenade jump, but it was pushing it. Ooh, I made it the first time this time. So instead of uh, using a checkpoint for there, I wanted to get a checkpoint while I'm up here. And I got it. Hell yes. Good thinking, Shilcho. Thank you, Shilcho. So now that I was on this ledge, I just needed to use a frag grenade to get up this final mountain. But what I discovered was it was pretty much at the absolute maximum limit of the grenade's power. Boom. Boom. Come on. Damn it. Come on, please, 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 pretty please. Oh! Dude, why is this so f***ing hard? This should be it. This should be it. No! Ah! Oh. Yes! Oh, finally! Oh, that was so much harder than that looked. You had to get, I had to get the exact distance I needed. So now that we were out of the map, we had to explore our way to the bottom of the map where the door is without dying to fall timer. I did not know this door opened, but this is what it opens to. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go down over here and jump down. And I'm gonna keep on jumping down. Boom! <laughs> I just corner rode down that so I could live. Uh, so in Halo 2, if you corner ride something, meaning if there's two different angles on something, if there's a corner, you can go back and forth between the angles if you do it fast enough, that it actually will reset your fall timer and you won't die. And that's what I just did there. Now I can walk over this edge and not actually die to the death barrier. Yay! Yay! Okay, but anyways, we're gonna go get the specter here. Now we just needed to take our specter on the same path on the back side of the building to transport us more quickly. Just like that. Bam, we're jumping down. 
Bam, we're jumping down. Okay, so because we were player merged, the dead player can go through walls pretty easily if you have the feather skull on. To get the dead player that's actually alive, all you have to do is die. Then you're free to push this person wherever you want. What I'm going to do is just throw a plasma grenade. That's all I'm going to do. And my player's half in the door. But now I'm alive again. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit him through. Then I'm going to die. So now that we spawned in this area, all we needed to do was push the player through the final door. And the first attempt, I hit him through the map and I have to do this all over again. And because I failed this, I had to get this all set up again. Let's see, I'm dead. Here's what I look like in the other player. The second time I did this, I was able to make it through the door that opened up earlier. So with the dead or alive glitch, you can actually hit players through. Oh, I'm stuck in the wall. But then I got stuck oh. in the doorway and the fluctuations that you see here from this camera angle is my body dangling in the wall. So I had to do this again. This time is going way smoother than last time. And I just hit him outside of the map. Okay. Every time that I fail at this, I have to reset the entire thing. Okay, I'm moving in the right, right direction. I need to get to that final door without falling into one of these ruts up here. And I fell into the f rut. And he's below the freaking map now. I'm below the map. That's what I'm trying to get. Okay, I'm so close to this door right here. All I got to do is get to this door. Moment of truth. Ah, oh, I got him through on the fifth beat. Okay, the player has spawned in here. I am in the room early, but I still have a ways to go. So I was in the final room, but now I had just one last thing to do. I had to make sure that I got the dead player to the bottom of this area without falling through the map. Okay, there it is. We're in the Tartarus platform before that section of the mission even starts. And I actually just hit the person all the way down. I'm falling all the way down this. Boom, landed it. Okay, now I need to have player two spawn down here, right on top of me, right there. Hmm. So now that we're in the Tartarus pit, I have to reveal to you my true objective here. I've always dreamed of doing a grenade launch from the bottom of this pit all the way to the top. I've, I've dreamed of this for so long. So what I'm going to try to do is just beat this player through the floor. Try to get them to fall to the bottom of the map so that they die. So there's one little problem with being able to do this launch. I'm dead. And I can't throw grenades as a dead person. So I need to die by the same way that I was failing the method before. Falling through the map and dying. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to die. Whoa! I'm spawning in. So in order to pull this off, I would need to throw at least three grenades at the same time. But I would need the health in order to survive that. So the Black Eye Skull in Halo 2 enables you to beat down your teammates for extra overshields, and you can have up to two of them. Technically, beating down your friendlies counts as an enemy. So now that I had everything set up, I needed to have three separate grenades explode at the same time. So in Halo 2, if you overcharge a Covenant weapon, you can throw two grenades if you time it on the cooldown. So my plan was to throw two grenades at the wall, and then while they're simultaneously landing on the ground, throwing another grenade that is landing on the ground at the same time. Not even close. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Where's the thing at? Uh, up, 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 over, over, over. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Uh. 
Come on, come on. I'm going perfectly up, perfectly up. Yes! I've been dreaming of that for three years, bro. Oh. Now, actually, I'm just now noticing that this platform is not even textured. But luckily, all of this is uh, not solid. Throw a grenade right through it. This looks like some sort of like like a 50s movie or something. Some sort of L.A. noir or Ah, uh, what the hell? This is a false floor right here. Doesn't this looks so awesome, though. That's the actual platform it comes up on. And you can see that the whole model is untextured at this stage of the game. It's so awesome. Such an underutilized cool spot. Okay, well, anyways, I gotta get up in this room. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Is there anything different about this? It doesn't look like it. So the non-standard bridge that you wouldn't normally go over, they textured before it loads in this game, but not after. 343 took some weird shortcuts. I'm assuming this door doesn't open. I can shoot through it. It does open. Well, the door opens. If uh, you get on the other side of it, it will open for you. 